Could coffee be secretly raising your cholesterol? A new study suggests your morning brew might be doing more than just waking you up. So welcome back to my community and today we're diving into fascinating research that could change how you view your daily coffee ritual. A recent study published in the Open Heart Journal has revealed some intriguing findings about the relationship between coffee consumption and cholesterol level. This large-scale Norwegian study involving over 21,000 adults found that certain types of coffee can indeed raise cholesterol levels. So now let's break this down. Unfiltered coffee, so the study found that people who consumed six or more cups of French press or boiled coffee daily had the highest cholesterol increase, eight to 12 points higher than non-coffee drinkers. Number two, espresso. The next highest impact came from espresso drinkers. Those consuming three to five shots daily showed a four to six milligrams per deciliter increase in total cholesterol. Number three, filtered coffee. Interestingly, only women showed a cholesterol increase with filtered coffee and only one consuming six or more cups daily. But why does this happen? The key lies in the natural oils present in coffee beans. Now these oils known as deterpenes have been shown to raise blood cholesterol. The brewing method significantly affects how much of these oils end up in your cup. Unfiltered methods like French press allow more of these oils to pass into the final brew, while paper filters trap most of them. This explains why filtered coffee showed the least impact on cholesterol levels. So now, before you panic and swear off coffee forever, remember that moderation is key. Even thought that coffee can raise cholesterol, it doesn't increase the risk of cardiovascular disease as the cholesterol is not getting oxidized. But if you are still worried, you could consider cutting back or switching to filtered methods. Now, you know for a fact I am a heavy coffee drinker, but it's not the cholesterol increase that actually worries me. It's the mold toxins found in certain coffee roasters. And that's where you have to keep an eye on mostly. Okra toxins A, short for OTA, is the primary mycotoxin of concern in coffee. It produced by certain Aspergillus and Penicillium species of mold. Now these molds can grow on coffee beans during processing, storage, or transport, especially in a humid condition. And here's the effect of that mold on your body. One, when the body detects toxins like OTA, it will actually increase urine output as a natural detoxification mechanism. Two, OTA is known to be nephrotoxic, toxic on the kidneys. The kidneys might work harder to filter out these toxins, potentially leading to increased urination. Three, while coffee itself is a mild diuretic, the presence of mycotoxins will dramatically increase this effect. Important things to consider, many countries have set maximum allowance levels of OTA in coffee to minimize health risk, but I think it should be 100% zero and shown on certificate of analysis as proof. Proper harvesting, processing, and storage can significantly reduce mold growth and toxin production. Now, some people may be more sensitive to these toxins and experience more pronounced effects such as constant urination, irregular heartbeat, and sleepless nights. It's worth noting that while this connection exists, the level of mycotoxins in commercially available coffee are quite high due to lack of industry standards and regulations. However, the quality of coffee and its storage conditions can play a role in toxin levels. So for those concerned about this issue, buying high quality coffee from reputable sources and proper storage at home can help minimize exposure to these toxins. So if you know someone with high cholesterol, please consider sharing this video and you can literally change someone's life. And if my videos help you improve your health in a small way, please consider funding me a buck or two Therefore, I can have more time and research to make videos and continue self-testing.